Step eight in creating an assignment and its learning is choosing whether or not you want this to be a group activity. There are two options for creating a group activity. Students can create the groups where students can freely create their own groups by inviting other students into the course. Or you can use the course groups that are already predetermined. These groups are usually predefined by the teacher. The assignment can be changed into a group assignment or vice versa until there is at least one submission. Whenever students create groups, they're allowed to create groups on their own and they can invite other students to work on the assignment with them. Until the student has created a group or has chosen to work alone, it is not possible to answer the assignment. To create a group, students can type in the name of the students they want to collaborate with. When saving the created group, invited members will get a notification when they have been added to the group. In the assignment itself, the group members are shown at the top of the page. It is now possible to start answering the assignment. To add or remove members, a group member can click on the Edit Group button. This opens the same dialog as the one for creating the group. It is also possible to withdraw from a group. Note that changing a group is currently only possible as long as there are no answers submitted. Option two is using course groups that are already predetermined. These are usually predetermined by the teacher or predetermined by your its learning administrator. Your groups are currently predetermined for you in its learning, and you can find those in your course groups. Instead of create your group, the assignment will show the button select your group. Clicking it will list all the groups the student is a member of. When being added to a group, the student will get a notification at the bell icon at the top of their its learning page. The same happens when a group member withdraws from the group. There's also a notification when a student submits an answer on behalf of the group, and when an answer is saved as a draft as well. For more information on how group assignments work in its learning, feel free to, to watch the video inside of the slide deck on this page in the its learning pathway. There's also a link to the article where some of this information was gathered.